Okay, so we have Julia Bayer and Matt Stewart with us here. Thanks guys for being here. Pleasure. It's really, really cool. Um, and we're looking forward to hear about your experience with the new Like as a Ford because you were two of the photographers who tried it. Like some of the first photographers who tried it and we can see your awesome pictures here hanging on the wall. So how, how did it feel to test the new Like as a Ford? Well, first it was a, a real honor uh, to, to be using something before it existed, uh, so that was fun. Um, we um, went on holiday, me and my family, and I thought there's no better time to take a, an instant camera than on holiday. Uh, so my, um, my kids, I have pictures of my kids jumping into the swimming pool. I have pictures of uh, my kids in fountains and just having fun. And um, it really made me sort of think about you know the, the 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 beginnings of photography and how pure they are um, and and also how nice it is to take a photograph and then give it to somebody um, which is, is it's really nice to take a picture but it's also really nice to give one back um, and this was lovely um, how about you Julia how did you find it yeah for me also this aspect to give something and you have a, you get in a kind of interaction even more than with a normal camera that really made me quite quite happy because you you talk people and then they really want to see it and you can show it and then they say oh wow it's cool can i have it and so this was the, one of the most important aspects for me yeah. and also for me the second one was really to have this small the size of the of the format for me it was a big challenge because you always wanted to enlarge it you're used to enlarge <laughs> the big but then you, you recognized oh no i really it's just this little piece of paper and uh, so for me, I, I tried to uh, experiment uh, what, what is visible on this little square and that I liked a lot. Yeah. It, it was very nice to have something that, that's playful as well. It's, um, I mean, this is the first Leica that I've ever been able to give to my children without worrying about. <laughs> um, and, uh, and they really enjoyed uh, playing with it, taking photographs, not thinking too much, just pressing the button and seeing what things look like and I think this is one of the the great things about this type of camera yeah cool this this sounds like a really ex amazing experience so would you think that there is a um, yeah like a specific photographic project that would really suit the like as a Ford for you guys so is there something you have in mind where like oh, I can't wait to shoot it with the like as a Ford okay I, I felt that um, I, I had to really uh, develop something you have to develop something special. So for me, portraits is, are working quite well, but also you have to go very because you have to go very close. Or um, you make some. I, I decided to more um, make look for abstract things and forms and uh, uh, colors, and so that worked very well for me. So because the normal street photography for me didn't work so well because the dis the, the the medium distance of a picture in that that small format uh, it, it doesn't function so much. So for me, it's more abstraction or portraits which I uh, I would like to, uh, to 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 get on with I mean it really forces you to get close mm. this camera it really makes you want to get close to people which is which is part of the fun I mean I think it was Robert Kappa that said you know if your pictures aren't good enough you're not close enough and and, and this thing really makes you need to be there um, so um, it's 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 great for teaching it's a great learning device and and talking about how I would like to use this camera, I would actually love to use it um, with children. I would love to teach children about photography with one of these, give the whole class one of these, and go off and do a project together and see what they come back with. Um, because it, 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 it's, uh, it's a perfect uh, piece of equipment for this type of project. Speaking of working with uh, children with the instant camera, do you guys have um, like an early experience that is connected to instant photography or instant camera? So have you something that connects you like emotionally to an instant camera? Okay, no, I, I was thinking about it, but um, I just remember that there is exist existing one image of me because my parents, my father had a Rolle uh, 35, so he was much more into film. We, there was no uh, instant camera at home, but I had once I was invited for a birthday party and we made this kind of um, catwalk and we did, were disguising and so I have one picture standing me like this. That's the only instant picture I remember. Do you still have it? I, no, I don't know. I, I think I have to, to look for it, but no, I think I, it's gone. Right. 
Well, I, I mean, for me, we always had a Polaroid around, and so we did used to take pictures of each other, and my, my dad was a keen amateur photographer, so, um, po you know, instant, cam instant camera film was always something that we had. And, um, and so we have lots of pictures at home of, uh, you know, me going to school, uh, me and my brother. We still, um, have, we still have them, yeah, yeah and in an album, and, and they've been kept very nicely. So um, it's actually great to, to have something that has been reinvented uh, in this form uh, for now. You could start to another one. Another album now, huh? Yes, with, with my children. Because, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because normally now with the digital cameras, you don't print it out and you make, don't make an album, but now maybe that's... And, that's, and, I, I, and this is a great thing. You suddenly have something that's real and you can make an album. Mm. Uh, one of the problems with digital photography is we have them on our computers, but we don't make the albums anymore. So it's true. Um, and it's a unique copy. Copy that's for me important also. That when I t took the picture, I said, "Oh wow, I don't have any negative or yeah, it's one any one. data. It's one. It's just this. Yeah. And if you give it away, it's fine. But it's somebody else else ha have it. But uh, that makes something to really to um, to work slowly and uh, because you don't want to waste so much Polaroids. No? Yeah. You just because I, sometimes I, I, in the beginning I tried to make one picture per day when I started to use mm -hmm. the camera for this project here. So I really tried, okay, is it already the right moment for my one pic single picture today? So yeah. that, that was good. It forces, it, it forces you to think. And, I, I, and this is good. Thinking is important in this day and age. Think too much, huh? Because it's very yeah, spontaneous. So absolutely. you really get that's you're in between. Yes. Uh, you have the impulse to take picture, but is it really good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. So yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. It's um, it works it works very well. You have ten pictures, you know, and uh, and that gives you a good constraint. It gives you a good focus. Um, uh, we've we've both been shooting with this this morning, and we've al already run out. <laughs> <laughs> you have one. You can't. You take pictures of us. Yeah, take pictures of us. Great, <laughs> fantastic. And she will. She will sign this for you later. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 It's really awesome. There we go. You. Thank you. Thank you guys for for sharing your impressions with the uh, with the like as a Ford. This is really, really cool for us to hear. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for your time. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you. being invited. Thank you. Take care.